Thunder Bay out of Colton. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is for the, uh, the Minister of Energy. And Minister, in 2003, all three political parties and all three political leaders committed to closing all coal-fired energy in Ontario, and two of the five plants producing energy that way were in my riding of Thunder Bay out of Colton. For 10 years, I've been working on the conversion, the maintenance, and the sustainability of both of the coal plants in my riding, including the plant in Atacokan, and that conversion, I'm pleased to say, is well under the way, underway. Over the next decade, there's the potential for a number of mining projects to come on stream in northwestern Ontario. And while there continues to be disagreement over the energy needs of northwestern Ontario in the next five to ten years, we need to ensure that Thunder Bay and northwestern Ontario are positioned for the economic growth and job creation these projects may bring. Speaker, last Friday I was pleased to announce, along with my colleague from Thunder Bay Superior North, that the Thunder Bay Generating Station will be converted to burn advanced biomass fuel. Question. Minister, for the benefit of the House, could you please share some of the work that went into ensuring the future of the Thunder Bay Generating Station? Thank you. Minister of Energy. Speaker, I thank the member from Thunder Bay, Atacokan, for his question. And the member and his colleague, the Minister of Northern Development of Mines, I've been adv advocating on this issue for many years, unlike the third party who only seemed to have discovered it yesterday. And I want to commend them for their work on this file. Friday's announcement was the result of the member's strong leadership over the past 10 years, as well as that of his colleague from Thunder Bay, and months of working with the local stakeholders and residents and Ontario's energy agencies. The conversion to advanced biomass is another step in reducing dirty coal burning in Ontario and puts our province on the leading edge of worldwide biomass research. And the continued operation of this plant will ensure that Thunder Bay has the power it needs to support future economic Answer. expansion. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Mr. Minister, thank you for, uh, for the response. Now, having worked on this issue for 10 years, I know how important Friday's announcement was for the constituents in my riding and for the future of northwestern Ontario. Not only will this cost-effective conversion to advanced biomass ensure that Thunder Bay has the supply of clean and reliable electricity it needs, it will secure significant employment until at least 2020. With the Thunder Bay and Atacogan generating station conversions now in place, I feel we're well positioned to move forward and prepared for the mining expansion that may come in the Northwest. The five-year contract will allow us to monitor the region's energy demands over the near term and make the appropriate decision at that time. Can the Minister please update the House on what other steps our government has taken to ensure Northwestern Ontario has a supply of clean, reliable Question. and affordable electricity? Thank you. Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, the Chair uh, Ian Angus of the Northwest uh, Energy Task Force uh, states, and I quote, five years is really good. A commitment to keep this plant alive is really good. Mr. Speaker, we expect the converted unit will begin operating in 2015 on a five-year contract, helping ensure the residents of Thunder Bay continue to have a clean, reliable, cost-effective supply of electricity. Great news. To ensure the region has the energy it needs for new mining projects, we have also committed to building a new transmission line between Wawa and Thunder Bay, which will provide an additional 650 megawatts of capacity wow. for the Northwest. And the North of Dryden report lays out additional options for new generation and transmission lines over the short and long term, including the connection of remote communities in the region. Mr. Speaker, our government has taken action Answer. to ensure that Northwestern Ontario has the energy they need when they need it and will continue to work to ensure the capacity is there for mining developments in the future.